Hey, my name is Seb, and we're back with some of the best mods for Armory Forger. Lately, Armory Forger has been on an upward trend and is growing in popularity every day. We are seeing larger content creators like Shroud and Clean having fun playing modded servers and mills. So interest for Armory Forger has increased a lot and so has the amount of amazing mods on the workshop. So today, we're gonna go and check out some of the best mods for realism in Armory Forger to elevate the Milsim experience. So stay tuned because these mods are truly excellent. Also, if you want to keep informed on everything Armory Forger and the Armor platform, consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video. Now let's get straight into the first mod, which is Ace Anvil by Ace Mod. Ace mod should be known to everyone who played Armor Tree. In Armor Tree, it's one of the most essential mods for Milsim servers as it adds a ton of systems to bring more realism to the core gameplay experience. In Armory Forger, the Ace team intends to do exactly the same with Ace Anvil, and we are introduced to the following mods and systems. First, we have Ace Backblast. When you fire a recoilless rifle, it produces a zone behind the launcher with overpressure that can knock out or even kill friendlies. Now, backblast is a real thing you learn about in the military. Anyone who has ever fired a recoilless rifle like the Call of Gustav knows about this. Even in confined spaces like inside a building, the player themselves may be at risk of backblasting themselves or others when they're close to walls. So make sure to clear the backblast so you don't knock out yourself or your friends. Next is Ace Medical that aims to provide a more realistic medical system. The most notable feature is something called Second Chance that keeps players from dying without falling unconscious first. Also, when you get wounded, the wound will cause pain and it's visible through a white flash indicator on your screen. Now the pain can be removed by using morphine. There's also now an EpiPen injector which speeds up the wake up of incapacitated units. Now, Ace Medical currently only affects players and you cannot use it with AI. Another cool feature with Ace is Ace Trenches that extends the use of the shovel or E tool with the ability to place dirt cover. But you can also use the E tool to now chop trees and bushes. This is called Ace Chopping. And to top it all off, you also have Ace Carry that adds the option to carry incapacitated units away from the danger to be treated by the medic. There are a few other standalone mods to Ace, but I recommend using the all-in-one mod. But you can of course use any of these Ace mods as standalone if you so desire. Next up is a new arsenal function. Now this is Bacon Loadout Editor by Bacon8008. The loadout manager is a good step in the right direction of making a good modern loadout editor. You can access it by looking at any normal arsenal. The loadout editor grants you the ability to customize everything about your character from a single editor without the hassle of the sometimes very chaotic layout of the current arsenal. Better yet, you can even customize your weapon in here as well. And with the dependency mods from the creator, you can actually create some pretty impressive and unique weapon combinations that has never been possible in Armor Tree before. The loadout manager even has some helpful tools like a directional lighting for the character or a light or dark themed background. And I think this way of customizing in the armor arsenal is how things should be, in my opinion, clean and simple to use. Now this tool is only gonna get better with time. Now from one excellent tool to another, we're taking a look at Coalition Squad Interface. Coalition Squad Interface, or CSI, aims to replicate and expand upon older systems known from Armor Tree, systems like Shaktak HUD and DUI. The Squad Interface itself is a tool that helps you keep in control of your team, your bearings and the squad roles. Having a tool like this helps you maintain a much better situation of awareness, an awareness that can be incredibly hard to maintain without a HUD. 
In the real world, it's much easier keeping situation awareness at all times, but in a video game like Armory Forger, it can actually be fairly difficult. This mod also provides you with some tools to edit the interface and some control over squad icons, team color and more. This mod is currently under active development, but it is shaping up nicely to become a must-have for serious servers, groups and players. Now over to another tool that is really helpful and it's VPad. Velasquez pad or the V pad simply replaces the traditional map with a rugged tablet that has an onboard GPS positioning system. On the tablet itself, you have a functional minimap that can display map markers and information in real time. And according to the creator, the tablet itself is running on an experimental software called Gluten OS or GOS. Now in the modern era of military operations, it's much more common to use digital systems like this tablet and rugged PCs, instead of classic maps. So having this tool at hand makes a lot of sense. The neat thing about Armor Forger is that you can carry a gun in the right hand and have the tablet in the left, giving you easy access at all times. For instance, when you're driving and navigating. In my opinion, this is a must have for every modern server focusing on realism. And now over to the final mod, that is RHS status quo. Now I've talked about RHS status quo before in one of my previous videos, but it has evolved a lot. And it is without a doubt the highest quality and most developed mod available on the workshop right now. RHS focus on contemporary US and Russian forces. RHS is modern and really brings with it some amazing content. With the factions comes plenty of new weapons and attachments like lights, lasers and suppressors. There are also vehicles like tanks and APCs, as well as equipment and gear like night vision, armor plates and more. RHS has some really good systems for realism, like AIRS. AIRS is an independent subsystem of RHS that will allow you to interact with modern radios and other operational electronics on the immersive level. RHS also allows for airstrikes using placeable objects in the Game Master. And of course, RHS also has modern infrared, night vision and thermal systems, as well as handheld and interactive GPS systems for both factions. Currently, RHS is in phase one, and it aims to create a story campaign with a new terrain to follow in the future. It's a mod that is continuously being worked on and is progressing every day. So in my opinion, having RHS on your server creates a solid foundation for any realism-based operations you want to have. Now, these are some of the best mods I have encountered so far in terms of realism. But did I miss any of your favorite mods? If so, leave a comment and we can check them out in the next mod video. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for each individual mod if you want to test them out by yourself. I want to give a big thank you to all my channel members for directly supporting me. And again, thank you to all of you who are watching for the support. You can subscribe or become a member by using any of the links down below. Now thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.